Yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? It is D Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, it's the third video of the day, I believe. I believe we went over Johnny Smith earlier today. Went ahead and got a gameplay out for you guys, uh, you know, with uh, Deshaun Watson. Um, and now, um, not Deshaun Watson, what am I saying? Dak Prescott. And now we have the news that we are signing former Colts. Defensive tackle Danico Autry to a three year deal worth $21.5 million. So I don't know how to feel about this. Y'all, y'all let me know down below y'all's thoughts and y'all's feelings about this. Um I definitely I mean, I don't know, guys. I for me to wait all day and for most of you guys to wait all day uh for assigning someone to sign with the Titans, I just that's a lot of money uh, for a defensive tackle. What does I? I don't know, guys. I really do not know. Obviously, this means Daquan's gone, uh, or probably already is gone. But it just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, we don't have that much money to spare, uh, and I definitely not. I wouldn't want to, uh, you know, sign a, a defensive tackle. But yep, it is what it is. Uh, but hey, not a bad player. Uh, we can actually look up his stats here if y'all want to. Let's go ahead and check him out. I think he had like seven sacks last year. Um, let's check him out here. Um, I think it was a Pro Bowler a couple years ago. Uh, but, you know, nothing too special. Uh, just a solid inside D tackle. It's probably what we're going to need. So, I mean, I guess we'll take it. Uh, so his tackles are right here. Sacks, seven and a half sacks last year was not bad at all as a defensive end. Um, nine sacks in 2018. From the D tackle spot, that's not bad at all, but he played end here, right D tackle. So, um, like I said, from the defensive tackle, um, Position nine sacks is very good. Seven and a half sacks is very, very good. Um, I just, oh, I definitely just, I want to see like a Bud Dupree. I want to see like a Carl Lawson. Um, maybe those moves are coming. We cleared up, you know, we cleared up some good space uh, for us to make some moves. Um, just did not expect this one to be the first move we make because this is not the number one priority at this point. Now, I might, you know, understand that um, maybe a little bit later, but this is not our number one priority at this point. Maybe we have some other deals already laid out and John Robinson knows what he's doing. Uh, so maybe he doesn't know what he's doing, but hopefully he does know what he's doing uh, because uh didn't expect this to be the this would have been the last thing I thought um, I just just kind of surprising because obviously this is not the this is not the one position that we desperately needed and I feel like you need to cover that first before you get into anything else um, just don't under don't really get I, I would understand if it was like our third or fourth move but with it being our very first free agent signing I just this doesn't make much sense to me unless like I said John Robinson has already you know just you know, talked with other uh, agents about you know other guys that we could possibly sign uh, and he's pretty confident that we will be able to sign those guys but I don't know man y'all let me know what y'all think about this um, but I'll keep you guys updated if we have any more news uh, tonight tomorrow um, I'll try my best to get a video out whenever we have any more news but for the meantime, we signed a Nico Autry to a three-year deal for $21.5 million. Nine mil guaranteed and um, 14 and a fourth over two years. And this is our first signing, as you guys can see, from Ian Rappaport. Um, so, yeah. With that being said, hopefully we see some th something else happen tonight. Um, I would absolutely, you know, I, I just... I, before I go to bed tonight, I just want to see a couple more moves being made. Um, you know, an edge rusher would be nice. You know, a deep threat wide. Curtis Samuel was a great guy that I would I would love to have come to uh, 
Tennessee because we need one of those guys that can uh, take the top off the defense. Um, Kenny Galladay has already stated that he's going to take his time and being he's going to be very patient in the process of being you know a free agent. So if we end up yeah. Corey Davis is still up in the air. Don't know what's going to, ha- going to happen to him. Obviously, John is already gone. So, if we release Corey, we've got to have a you know a number two wide receiver. So, um, but still, we don't know what's going on with Corey. Uh, very first thing I heard was we were um, trying to make a deal with him, and then next thing you know, Johnny Smith and Corey Davis are were both told that they are not going to be a Tennessee Titan next year. And the next thing you know, Johnny Smith gets or uh, signs with the Patriots, and then Corey Davis is still up in the air. We don't know what's going on with that, but when I have more information, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but like I said, if Corey ends up signing somewhere else, we definitely have to get like a solid number two receiver good to go along with A.J. Brown because if we end up doing nothing and letting Corey Davis go, our offense is going to be very stagnant uh, because we will be a one-dimensional offense uh, which a lot of people think we are, but I, I have enjoyed watching the play action game because we, one of the top, definitely top five offenses in the league, in my opinion. Um, that's for another day to discuss. But if we let go of Corey, we've got to get a solid number two receiver. That's just the number one thing because um, we can't have AJ Brown and then Cameron Batson out there um, because that's just. AJ's going to get doubled, and we have no passing. And then when teams know that we can't pass the ball, uh, then it's just one-dimensional Derrick Henry. And then the reason Derrick Henry had so many yards, obviously, is Derrick Henry. But uh, we were able to pass the ball to play action a lot. So they, teams have to respect our play action game. They have to respect Derrick Henry, and that's that's why our offense is so good. you got to respect both the pass and the rushing game from us. Um, and when you go into a one-dimensional type of offense, so like if we release Corey, don't pick up anybody, uh, it's going to be very easy to stop us. Um, but yeah, maybe Galladay, Juju Smith is another one, Allen Robinson, uh, but they're going to want a lot of money. And with us signing, uh, you know, Danico Autry for 21 mil, it's a lot of money. So I don't know, guys. I don't know how I feel. Y'all let me know how y'all feel down below. But, yeah, with that being said, if we do have any more news, I'll let y'all know. But, let me say, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. And until next time, I'll see y'all.